Hi, I wanted to share today, um, uh, I'm in Acts 2, 37, and it says, Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart with remorse and anxiety. And they said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, brothers, what are we to do? And Peter said to them, repent, change your old way of thinking, turn from your old sinful ways, accept and follow Jesus the Messiah, as Messiah. Accept and follow Jesus, sorry, as Messiah, as the Messiah. And be baptised each of you in the name of Jesus Christ because of the forgiveness of sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yes, hallelujah. For the promise of the Holy Spirit is for you and your children and for all who are far away, including the Gentiles. As many as the Lord our God calls to himself. And Peter solemnly testified. Wow, this is just amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Listen to this. And continued to so, and Peter testified and Peter solemnly testified and continued to admonish and urge them with many more words, saying, Be saved from this crooked and unjust generation. So then those who accepted his message were baptized, and on that day about three thousand souls were added to the body of believers. Wow. Three thousand souls in one go. Look at that whammy catching fish in one big hall, one big massive net of fish. 3,000 of them, 3,000. Can you imagine? All at once. All at once. Imagine if it was a million. Or imagine if it was a billion. Or, can you imagine? All at once. Isn't that amazing? 3,000. All at once. Gave the hearts of the Lord Jesus. 3,000 souls are added to the heaven, to the city of heaven for God. 3,000. Amazing. Wow, 3,000 souls, look at Jesus, amazing story. Okay, and he says, They were continually and faithfully devoting themselves to the instruction of the apostles and to fellowship, in, um, and to, fellowship to eating meals together and to prayers. A sense of awe was felt by everyone and many wonders and signs attesting, attesting miracles were taking place through the apostles. And all those who believed, who had believed in Jesus as Saviour, were together and had all things in common, considering their possessions to belong to the group as a whole. And they began selling their property and possessions and were sharing proceeds, sharing the proceeds with all the other believers as anyone had need. Day after day, they met in the temple area, wow, continuing with one mind and breaking bread in, in various homes, excuse me. They were eating with meals, so they were, they were eating various meals. Oh, I'm sorry, let's put this light on. Here we go, there. That's right, this is, which, the light's not on, it's just the curtain that's open at the minute, so I'm trying to see what's in. <laughs> that's better than the lights on the book, okay. Okay, right now, praise the Lord. Uh, we go away, what's up? Okay, so then, um, day after day, they met in the temple area, continuing with one mind and breaking bread in various private homes. I should have put the light on here, really. Okay. They were eating their meals together with joy and generous hearts, praising God continually and having favour with all the people and the Lord kept adding to their number their daily those who ha who were being saved. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. Praising God continually and having having favour with all people and to the and the Lord kept adding to their number daily those who were being saved. Isn't that awesome? Maybe that you know you're somebody that you know you're like those people that Peter was speaking to. You know what shall we do? How do we do this? I'm ready. How do I give my heart to Jesus? I want to do what those people did. I want to give my heart to the Lord. And how do I do that? The same thing that Peter said to them. He said, "Repent, 
and change your old ways. So you turn in your heart to Jesus and you, you say in a prayer, a heartfelt prayer, and you turn away from your, your old ways, your old lifestyle, and you're saying, Lord, I'm living for you. I'm going to quit sinning. I'm going to give my heart to you. And I'm going to, going to live for you, Lord. And I'm going to read your word. I'm going to live a separated life to the world. I'm not going to live in the world. And I'm going to live for you, Lord. Help me, Lord, to live for you. In Jesus' name. And that's how you give your heart to the Lord. You repent. And you say, sorry, Lord. Come into my heart. I'm sorry. I love you. I repent of all sin in Jesus' name. Forgive me, Lord. I believe you are who you say you are. I believe you died and rose again. By your Holy Spirit, live within me, Lord, and show me the way. In Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen.